Hi everyone, I'm in Rawalpindi, a city close to Islamabad and it's my first day out since I came here and I'm going to explore the local streets, the local markets which we already started, started to see a lot of things on the streets that you can buy no donkeys, no horses, <laughs> no goats so far. It took me 45 minutes. Let me show you something. Look at this. It took me 45 minutes in an Uber to get here from my hotel. So I'm not I'm not close to this place. I'm not I'm not close. I don't live close to the center. And it was impossible to find an Uber driver. Literally impossible. I got after an hour of trying. Um, I stay in Bahria, Bahria town. I stay in Bahria town in Rawalpindi. And it's, I think it's like eight kilometers from from the center. That's what it said on the map when I was choosing the hotel, but I didn't double check. But it took 45 minutes to get here. Anyway, let's explore. Let me go on on the pavement. I was lucky my Uber driver spoke perfect English. He used, to, he used to live in England, in Manchester and other places. So he told me about this place. You can buy pretty much anything in here. It's a, it's a place for shopping. Today is Saturday, so there should be quite a few people out and about. Let's see what we can see. There is definitely more cars than rickshaws and uh, motorbikes in here. As I said, no donkeys, no horses so far. I've got donkey withdrawals going on. <laughs> Nothing to stroke around here in this city. I should be approaching the clock tower, the city center, in a, f in a few minutes. If I keep on going straight. Ok, 
Okay, so this is where the rickshaw this is where the rickshaws come more than the cars because so far it's been more cars than rickshaws. Again, we've got shoes that cost around two pounds it's 600 rupees on that box and I'm wearing shoes at the moment that cost 500 rupees which is literally two pounds and look we've got Nike Skechers we've got Adidas here and you can buy that for two pounds Yes, amazing. Amazing. Thank you so much. I had no other choice because my shoes were falling apart from a lot of walking. And in the other cities like Faisalabad, I could see mostly uh, like flip-flops, slippers kind of shoes. Uh, not really sporty shoes like I'm wearing, you know, for walking. So I tried one pair and it feel it fits like a glove it's amazing i feel like it's the best shoes i've ever owned for two pounds guys for two pounds i'm here good i'm here too thank you hello hola and i wasn't supposed to end up in this city in ravalpindi so soon i had a train train ticket to a different city from lahore I wanted to go to a city up north, let's say one hour by train. And the city started with G. I can't remember I can't remember the name. And the day before I was supposed to take the train, I was gonna book a hotel there and I found out there is only um, at the time of my booking there was only one hotel available and it was quite expensive and I, try, I tried multiple sites and even even Google search for hotels and it just wasn't happening so I had to last minute I had to buy a ticket and I researched some other smaller cities like Gujarat near Lahore and the same situation not many hotels maybe maybe one two hotels available at a time and quite expensive or completely far away from the city so I made a quick decision and I booked a train that left like three hours from the time of booking and I came to this big city Rawalpindi that is close to Islamabad the capital of Pakistan so yeah my plan my my plan was to go from city to city you know like even smaller towns and explore the villages or smaller towns but it seems it's difficult to to get a hotel in those places which is not good because I still have a few weeks left in Pakistan and not not enough cities with hotels left uh, and going north to a place called Muri it's also a small place with quite expensive hotels because it's it's like a hill station and many other places up north are hill stations so uh, the prices are higher and it's full of snow apparently the roads are blocked with snow and that's not what I want to do I don't want to be in the snow I escaped the UK not to be in the cold so that leaves me with like three, four cities before I leave and weeks and weeks to go before my flight ticket back to London. So it's a little bit tricky. <coughs> Sorry, it's a little bit dusty here. It's hectic here, it's Saturday, but it's not as hectic as Lahore. I can walk on the street, I feel very good. Um, Lahore was another level, oh my goodness, that city, yeah, extremely crowded, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't too keen on that. 
this is this is okay so far. If this is the busiest time of the week, I'm okay. I'm okay here. Lahore was whew, too much. I love it here. I really love it here. Look how busy. There is no sun sunshine anymore, so it doesn't look amazing. Again, I left my hotel extremely late because no Uber. I had to have breakfast and coffee, otherwise nothing happens without it. <laughs> I need my coffee. Coffee addict, for sure. And here we are, no sun. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. It's, as I said, it's busy, but not too busy. So it's perfect to walk, but you still see all the, all the messiness. Yes. I'm okay. I don't want to go there. Thank you. I come here. No, thank you. I'm alright. Thank you. I really hope I can stay here longer than just three nights. Look, there is so much to explore. And I'm already lost. Okay, I better not follow that road. Let me go to the clock tower first and then I'll get lost. Sorry. You can't, you can't. Sorry. What I've done, I didn't take my Google Maps. I left my other phone accidentally in my hotel. That means um, I'm gonna get lost. Excuse <laughs> me. Oh my goodness. <coughs> Some fumes or something. I like it here. I think I'm going to like it Raval Pindi more than Islamabad because I like this kind of busy busy markets. Uh, I'm not I'm not too into like monuments and museums and stuff like that. I'm more into colorful stuff. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm stuck. It's okay. <laughs> I love it, I love it here, I have to say. And I don't want to leave anytime soon. I'm supposed to have only tomorrow for filming and then moving on, but hopefully I will, I will, I will extend my stay here because it's, it's precisely what I like. So let's go on the pavement. Um, oh yeah, oh yeah. The pavement doesn't doesn't take me far away. <laughs> oh, there's so much to explore here. Oh my goodness. Umbrellas, sorry, umbrellas. That's important. When I got here, it was it was raining, so it's good to know they have umbrellas.
One day when I'm back in England and there will be a pedestrian road with no cars, I, I, will, I won't know what to do with myself <laughs> because I'm used to fighting for my life in these kind of, on these kind of streets for the last two months basically in Pakistan. You know, you got donkeys killing you, and I'm joking, but you know, donkeys everywhere, uh, rickshaws, motorbikes, people carrying all sorts of things. So you have to be alert. I don't even know if I can relax anymore <laughs> on a pedestrian, <laughs> pedestrian zone with no cars. Oh, we've got sun, that's what I want. I want some sun for nice colors, my favorite thing. <laughs> so there is supposed to be clock tower guys this is a joke clock tower with a motorbike helmet on top nah. <laughs> that's craziness <laughs> she took her scarf off and said hello, so I took my chance. That looks like a motorbike helmet or some kind of helmet instead of clock, clock tower in the middle. Unless, unless I'm lost, then this is, this is not the place, but I'm pretty sure this is the place. Anyway. In the hotel where I stay in Bahria town, uh, my, my boiler is broken, so the water is freezing cold, especially in the morning. But my motivation to be clean is la it's bigger than, than you know, um, having the comfort of warm water, so <laughs> I have to use what I have. It was it was proper proper cold this morning for sure. See, this is why there are no no donkeys because they were replaced. I prefer that. I prefer the men to carry the load than than my lovely lo donkeys. <laughs>
I've got so many clothes with me today, thinking it's going to be extremely cold. Because, as I said yesterday, so much rain, very cold. I thought it's because of the elevation, like I thought it was like that because it's, you know, it's higher up. But I think it was just a bad day. Because today is nice and warm. I like this. Oh, green, green peas. I'm gonna get that later for sure. Carrots. Yeah, I have to say I love it here. It's busy but not crazy busy. Lahore <laughs> learn something from Ramal Pindi. Oh, that's my kind of amount for sunflower seeds. I'll come back for that. Green peas and sunflower seeds and I don't need anything else. Thank you so much. <laughs> I still don't know what this is. I see it in all over Pakistan. It's a bark from a tree, but what do they use it for? I don't know. Okay, I really need to stay longer in this place. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Look at the greens here. <laughs> I've seen many, many toys here like this. It seems to be the place in Pakistan to come and get your toys, your plastic toys. I've seen also a YouTube video with many many like seven million views uh, just <coughs> in a shop with these plastic toys so there must be something going on going on some Chinese toys basically <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 
And of course you've got toys and plastic balls and right next to it you've got meat stuff going on. Never a dull moment. Some cow tongue. Oh my Buddha. To this day, I don't know what they do with these. Uh, do they make us soup from it? I don't know. I like the way he organized his baskets with, with onions and everything. So 300 Pakistani rupees is more than a pound for these baby vests or whatever you call it. It's not a vest. <laughs> a blazer, something like that. Oh, crazy? Thank you. Casual fit. Same like the green one. Thank you so much. It's okay, it's okay. I see it here, yeah. Thank you. For Mr. Mm -hmm. These sport shirts. Very nice. Yep. Where are you from? I live in England. My first time in Pakistan. What's that issue there? This one here. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Thank you so so much for now. Thank you. I may come back later, okay? Shukriya. Washing, washing, washing powder, okay. And here as well, look. What do you do when it starts raining? You have a phone party. <laughs> party on the street. Uh, London. Yeah. England. Yeah. Sorry? Thank you so much. Yeah, if it starts raining on this washing powder, oh my goodness. The whole street will be clean for three years after that.
again, kids, plastic balls next to meat products, just behind it. I don't know. I somehow I wouldn't want to buy that plastic ball for my kids to lick. Yes, they do. everywhere on the street oh my goodness Superman We've got some street food going on. fingers must be burnt. I guess he's used to it. Wow! This is incredible. You can seriously get lost. Some more food. I think that's fried onion. I see onion. <laughs> Thank you so much. I just finished my lunch. Ooh, so full. Thank you. What do they? What do they call it? Uh, did I hear pakora? Uh, pakora? Pakora, yes, yes, yes. I, for, I forgot. Pakora, pakora. It's, it's been a while since I left India. 
Okay. I don't know. Later, later. I'm, I'm full now. Thank you so much. That's fantastic. Good. Let me get a shot from a bigger distance. What is this country, ma'am? I live in London, England. England, okay. Yeah. If I say London, England, no more questions, even though my English is horrendous. <laughs> Sorry, English people. I'm just taking the easy way out here. If I say England, nobody says anything. If I start messing with European countries, and oh my goodness, it's never ending. With England, nobody says anything. Okay, okay, and I can, I can do my other stuff, my stuff. Magic, oh my goodness, I need, I need miracles as we speak. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Magic. Are you, are, you, are you showing me magic? Yeah, show me. PTI. PTI, yeah. PTI, oh yeah, I see. Oh. And what's, your, what's in your hand? Oh. It is magic. <laughs> Ah. We've got a magician here. <laughs> it's a coin, yes. And coin there. Coin, coin, yeah. Rolled up his sleeve. Oh my goodness. Show me your hand. Show me your hand. In my hand, yes. Oh my god. <laughs> he gave me some kind of animal. <laughs> Little mousy. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> my hand, okay. And close my hand. Yes, and roll it. Oh. <laughs> He's got a certificate, Usman the mag magician. We are very, very proud. Amazing for more than 60 years. Good stuff, sir. I like it. Thank you. Well done. All the stuff here is magic. I see. I see. I see. Very good. Very unique compared to other other sellers. Thank you so much, sir. See you later. Oh, more magic. Okay. Yeah, those are empty. Go on top. Okay. On top. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> One, two, See, I'm double. Yes, double. <coughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Very impressive. Yeah. Thank you so much. Shukriya. You. See you later. Bye. Good stuff. I'm being entertained on the streets of Rawalpindi. Hi. Look at that fried, fried stuff here. I, I already look forward to chatting to you guys on the premiere of this video. The internet in my hotel is super, super fast. Faster than in London, much faster. Probably the fastest, fastest I've ever seen in my life. Um, so I'll try to upload some videos if I still have something to upload from the past. And I'll upload this one really fast as well. One thing, one thing I will never understand, you land in Karachi at the airport, right? Internet here is, how much do I pay? Two pounds for 25 gigs or how much was it? 40 gigs for basically cheap, cheap, extremely cheap and quite good. And Karachi airport has no internet whatsoever. Uh, and I landed at 4 a.m. and you don't have any places to buy a sim card you can't buy yourself you can you know get yourself an uber and those guys at the airport 
can charge what, whatever they want. I'm not saying it was expensive, but when you come, when you land somewhere and you don't really know the currency, how much is one pound for the rupees, uh, and they talk in thousands, it's pretty intimida intimidating. Uh, and you've got no internet to check stuff. So yeah, I wouldn't mind if they, if they had internet at the airport or at least a way to buy SIM card. Since, even though talking about that, the internet is activated only like during the weekend. It takes 48 hours or 24 hours for it to be active. So yeah, it's the little details that would make life easier for tourists to, to visit, you know? Because then you are stranded at the airport at 4 o'clock in the morning, you are tired and it's tricky to get a taxi to your hotel, you know? Hola, hola. Good. My name... Meow, meow. Meow, meow. 